I will present my work about the um, energy storage devices based on the CNT fiber, uh, such as super strong super capacitor and a thread like uh, super capacitor and battery, and lightweight and high performance lithium ion battery. Uh, I believe that most of you already knew about the, what uh, carbon nanotube fiber is. But, uh, so I will introduce the um, direct spun CNT fibers real quick. Uh, as you know, the direct spun CNT fiber is synthesized from these, um, based on the uh, hydrogen and methane and ferrocene and thiopen in the furnace. And the CNT uh, aerosol is formed in the furnace and the form uh, is uh, hydrogen, methane, and catalyst and the CNT aerogel is formed in the furnace and this CNT aerogel is transformed into the shape of fiber by through the um, going through the um, uh, water bath and this is the um, video uh, for the preparation of the CNT fiber in our laboratory and this is the resultant CNT fibers and we also prepare the um, CNT film uh, uh, in, in this way and this is the uh, resultant CNT film prepared in our lab. So we are focused on the preparation of the um, energy storage devices and EMI shielding film and lightweight composite based on the CNT fiber. But I will focus on the um, energy storage devices based on the CNT fiber today. Then why CNT fiber is appropriate material for the um, preparation of the energy devices? The first one is the um, CNT fiber has a uh, ultra strong property like uh, uh, Pro Professor Yang reported uh, the CNT fiber having uh, more than 5 uh, Newton per tex uh, in, in this year. So we can say that the CNT fiber has a ultra high strong performance compared with the other material and which is very beneficial for the reduction of the film thickness or the fiber diameter for the processing because it can handle the um, high load and high tension during the processing. And the second one is the um, conduct, uh, conduct high conductance of the um, CNT fibers. Uh, as you know, the um, CNT fiber has a um, higher uh, electric conductivity uh, than uh, 10,000 Siemens per centimeters, which is appropriate for the uh, preparation of the uh, energy storage devices and electrochemical devices. And the third one is the um, CNT fiber has a porous structure like uh, like this, and what if we put or grow the um, uh, some specific functional material in the pore of those CNT fibers, uh, then we can obtain strong and conductive and multifunctional uh, CNT fibers. Uh, and the last one is the um, CNT fiber is very uh, light because of the pore in the fiber. So compared with the um, uh, conventional uh, materials such as uh, steel, copper, or like carbon fibers, or some kind of plastics, CNT fiber has uh, way lower than, uh, CNT fiber has way lower density compared with uh, the previous, I mean the conventional metals and plastics. So, uh, we are, due to this um, strong and conductive and porous structure of the CNT fiber, we are trying to grow the porous carbon on the pore of the CNT fiber. So we try to obtain strong and the multifunctional, which means and strong and energy storage devices uh, fibers. So we use the um, double walled CNT, which having a high uh, mechanical property, and we grew the um, metal organic framework on the surface of the CNT fibers, and subsequently carbonized these um, metal organic framework to the um, MOF derived carbon, which has a um, high uh, specific surface area. 
So this um, MOF and MDC is well grown on the um, CNT fibers and so this composite fiber has high specific surface area. But the um, MDC grown on the CNT fiber is easily exfoliated from the uh, CNT fiber due to the low uh, interfacial shear strength between the MDC and CNT fiber. Uh, we thought that the, uh, this uh, low interfacial shear strength is induced from the um, uh, surface characteristics of the CNT fibers. So we try to surface modification, uh, I mean surface modify of the uh, modify the CNTs based on the um, previously reported method by our groups. Uh, we in, in 2021, we reported the um, universal surface modification method for CNT fibers by um, dioxidation of the CNT fiber and subsequent amidation of the CNT fibers. Uh, we op we uh, observed that the um, surface characteristics of the CNT fiber is changed after surface modification. And the functional groups are generated on the surface of CNT fibers. And the interfacial shear strength between the um, epoxy and CNT fiber was changed. One more thing, the CNT fiber has um, higher mechanical property compared with um, as prepared CNT fiber, which is very good for the preparation of the fiber devices. So we use this uh, surface modification method to, uh, in our double walled CNT. And uh, we grew the um, uh, metal organic framework. And finally, we can obtain the uh, MOF derived carbon on the um, surface modified uh, CNT fibers. Uh, this composite fiber has the uh, higher uh, interfacial shear, shear strength between these uh, MOF and uh, CNT fibers. And the um, uh, stability of this uh, composite fiber is very good, uh, as, you, as you can see in here. After uh, 5,000 bending, the conductivity of the CNT fiber is still uh, similar with the uh, as prepared one. And the um, MDC on the CNT fiber is not uh, exfoliated from the fibers. So finally, we can prepare the um, this fiber supercapacitor based on the porous carbon and uh, CNT fibers, and it can operate uh, when we form in a ring shape. You can see uh, this LED is lighting, and when we examine the uh, electrochemical behavior, this um, CV graph and the GCD curve shows the um, ideal supercapacitor behavior because it shows the um, rectangular shape and triangular shape. Uh, it can show the um, very high uh, supercapacitor uh, capacitance in this um, high uh, charge and discharge current. And when you compare it with the um, previous research uh, based on the um, uh, fiber type uh, EDLC, uh, our this uh, fiber type supercapacitor uh, shows higher energy density and power density uh, simultaneously. Also, uh, this fiber type supercapacitor has a very uh, high st stability under uh, bending and folding or something. And uh, each ten tensile strength and the um, capacitance is higher than the uh, previous, previously reported uh, fiber type EDLC and pseudo capacitor. So we show the, um, this proof of concept for the um, uh, Generating this uh, and, and, and the, generating an energy and holding the 10 kilometer weight. So uh, we can show this uh, multifunctional CNT fiber, and we also co-work with the other uh, professor who are studying and developing the stretchable gel electrolyte. 
and we can prepare this uh, stretchable uh, supercapacitor with high performance and uh, high performance even at the low temperature and we can prepare the stretchable uh, supercapacitor based on our uh, Santi fiber, I mean the MDC at Santi fibers. So if you can have any idea uh, which can work with, with our groups, then we are always welcome to work with uh, anybody. So please feel free to contact us. The uh, second one is the uh, thread like the uh, energy storage devices. Uh, our MDC and CNT fiber it shows very high mechanical strength and is, um, shows high capacitance, but uh, it has some problem because uh, the shape of this MDC and CNT fiber is look like this. Uh, uh, the MDC shows very rectangular shape of the fiber, so it's it's not like a like a yarn. When you see the um, a commercial yarn which is used in sewing, uh, we can see that this yarn is very uh, smooth surface but our MDC at CNT fiber has very rough, rough shape so which is not for uh, which is not appropriate create for sewing and the second problem is that uh, our MDC uh, CNT fiber supercapacitor has very, uh, I mean, uh, has has very small length, uh, uh, it, which is not a continuous shape. So if we try to uh, weaving or the um, sewing on the textile, we have to prepare like a, a more than 10 meter of of the supercapacitor. But our supercapacitor has only a few centimeter, so which is not long enough to prepare like a um, woven texture or kneading texture or something. So which, uh, we are trying to prepare the um, continuous and more thread-like, not rough shape, uh, smooth shape, thread-like supercapacitor uh, is required. So the first strategy is that uh, we cut it the um, elect uh, solid electrolyte uh, in this CNT fiber by a continuous processing and we can finally success uh, in preparation of this uh, continuous type of electrolyte called uh, half cell. So based on this idea, we wrapped a fiber type separator on the CNT fibers and we cut the um, electrolyte on this CNT fiber based on these ideas. So we can prepare the half cell and we can twist these two half cells into a full, full cell. So the shape and diameter of this uh, thread like supercapacitor is similar with the conventional yarn. And the second one is that we need um, high loaded braid fiber. Uh, that is because when we uh, use this uh, CNT fiber in the sewing machine, uh, it has to hold a uh, very high tension. So uh, the small size CNT fiber is inappropriate and the low strength uh, CNT fiber is not inappropriate, inappropriate either. So we try to make a uh, high-tech uh, CNT fiber and a uh, high mechanical strength CNT fiber simultaneously. So uh, we try to adapt our uh, this uh, surface modification method to increase the CNT fibers. Uh, this uh, this article is published in uh, in this year, and we reported that. Our CNT fiber, after this cross-linking method, shows more than four newton per text uh, the tensile strength. And we use this um, I mean, cross-linking method on our nine text double walled CNT, which is composed of double walled uh, carbon nanotube, and which has a uh, large diameter compared with the previous one. And we can increase the mechanical strength of the CNT fiber 
uh, by cross-linking between the bundles. So you can prepare these more than uh, eight newton uh, low depth break carbon, carbon nanotube fiber is prepared in this strategy. And the third strategy is we change the um, active material from the MDC to a polyaniline. Uh, actually, the synthesis of polyaniline to prepare the high performance supercapacitor is kind of laborious and uh, time consuming work. And finally, we can uh, synthesize polyaniline of the Senti fiber bundles. At the first time, the uh, synthesized polyaniline is cover the Senti bundles and surface of the Senti fibers, so, so no pores are not absorbed. But we can uh, we change the synthetized condition to uh, cut the polyaniline on the each synth bundle, so we can find uh, every single bundles in the synth fiber. And finally, we can increase the specific specific surface area of the polyaniline uh, by some kind of uh, uh, some some method, and we can obtain this um, this high performance uh, pseudo capacitor based on the polyaniline. And we can prepare high performance with, uh, with having um, three voltage window based on the ion naked electrolyte at the same time. So this um, energy storage performance is very higher than the previous MDC and CNT fibers. So uh, we believe that uh, this polyaniline at CNT fiber can uh, show a great performance in, as a proof of concept uh, shortly. So we can prepare the full cell uh, devices based on the polyaniline and synth fiber and we prepare the Ubun type fabric and we prepare knitted fabric and finally we put this full cell type uh, super capacitor in the sewing machine and this sewing machine as you see sewing machine is uh, sewed on the uh, textile based on these full set types. So uh, this one is, is well sewn on the um, uh, textile and it can uh, work at, uh, as well as the um, MDC and CT fibers. Uh, but the um, uh, energy storage performance of the supercapacitor is limited as you know. So we also try to develop the um, thread-like lithium-ion battery based on the following concepts. Uh, we prepare the um, NCM slurry and we cut the um, NCM slurry onto CNT fiber as a cathode. And we also synthesized uh, tin, nano, tin oxide nanoparticle on the CNT fiber as an anode. And uh, we cut the um, gel electrolyte in, uh, in this fiber type uh, lithium-ion battery and it shows uh, uh, ideal performance and we can sew this uh, thread-like lithium-ion battery on the uh, textile and you can turn on the um, LED. And the thread-like uh, supercapacitor and lithium-ion battery is, uh, is, I mean, need the um, growth of the active material like growth of polyaniline and growth of tin oxide, but which is not uh, appropriate for the uh, mass production uh, process. So, uh, at this time, we prepare the um, active material slurry composed of the activated carbon, and we cut this activate, active material on the CNT fiber continuously, and we wrapped the um, polymer type separator continuously and we cut the electrolyte uh, continuously and we apply these two uh, electrolyte coated two half cell into the um, uh, full cell devices so uh, finally we uh, weave the um, super capacitor into the woven textile and we can turn on some kind of uh, simple uh, wearable devices, uh, as you see in here. So the uh, this um, 
this thread like uh, supercapacitor can be used in the uh, mass production scale if uh, synthetic fibers and the um, other uh, processing is appropriate. Uh, so we are prepare, uh, preparing another uh, manuscript for this. And the um, last one is the uh, preparation of the lightweight and high performance lithium ion battery. Uh, as you know, the um, lithium ion battery is composed of the um, anode, cathode, and separator, and electrolyte, and current collector. Uh, usually the um, anode is composed of graphite and the um, binder and the conducting carbon and the cathode is composed of the um, uh, NMC which is nickel, manganese, cobalt and binder and conducting carbon. Actually this anode, anode and cathode material store, store the um, energy and the separator or current collector uh, does not store the energy so we have to reduce the weight and thickness of the separator and current collector. However, the weight fraction of the current collector in the commercial uh, lithium-ion battery is about uh, 20 weight percent, which is very high because this current collector cannot uh, store the energy, but uh, it needs 20 weight percent of the um, lithium-ion battery, which increases the mass of the um, lithium ion battery and decrease uh, driving, uh, uh, driving in the distance in the electric car. So, our idea is that what if we replace this aluminum and copper electrode to the um, carbon nanotube fibers? Since the carbon nanotube fiber has a uh, very small density compared to the um, aluminum and copper, so we can decrease the um, weight percentage of the um, lithium ion battery in here. So we may uh, prepare or, and fabricate 10% uh, lighter uh, lithium ion battery based on this CNT fiber and CNT film. So we prepare the CNT uh, film based on our uh, CNT fiber, I mean direct spinning method. And the thickness of the synth fiber is about 10 micrometer, and the aerial density is about 0.5 uh, milligram per square centimeter. And firstly, we uh, use this uh, synth film as the um, current collector for the um, cathode. Uh, the uh, conventional current collector material is aluminum, and the um, Cathode material is uh, nickel, mangan, and cobalt. So uh, we prepared the slurry of the NMC, NCM and cut the NCM slurry on the aluminum and uh, CNT fiber uh, respectively, and we observed the uh, voltage profile based on this cathode. And uh, fortunately, the uh, voltage profile of the um, new uh, lithium-ion battery cathode based on this synth fiber is similar with the um, aluminum-based uh, cathode and the cycle stability of the um, synth fiber-based uh, new cathode is better than the uh, conventional one. We also compare uh, based on the um, vacuum, I mean the synth film based on the um, vacuum filtering method and the direct response CNT film is better than this vacuum filtering uh, CNT bulky paper. And when we measure the specific capacity based on this um, lithium ion, uh, I mean CNT fiber, uh, CNT fiber based cat cathode is, uh, shows higher performance than the um, aluminum current collector based cathode. And we only devised uh, this performance divide by the um, weight of NMC in this work. So uh, we include the uh, weight of binder, conducting carbon, and current collector, and we calculate then the um, difference between the specific capacity between the aluminum-based cathode and CNT fiber-based based cathode is getting larger. 
And one more uh, interesting thing is that if we increase the uh, discharge speed, uh, then the performance of the lithium-ion battery is de uh, decreased. Uh, the 30C means that we discharge this battery uh, in two minutes. So this is very high, fast uh, cathode, and but uh, has small energy storage performance. But compared with the um, aluminum-based uh, cathode, synthetic fiber-based cathode shows a slow decay if, even if we increase the uh, discharge rate. So. Uh, we, when we compare the um, uh, specific capacity based on the changing the um, uh, charging and discharging rate, the um, difference between the uh, specific capacity based on the synthetic fiber and aluminum, uh, aluminum current collector is getting large. And if we uh, include the um, uh, weight of this current collector, the difference between these two uh, cathodes is getting larger and larger. And one more uh, interesting thing is that the synthetic fiber based cathode shows uh, superior performance in the thick electrode system. This silk thick electrode system is a uh, very hot topic in the battery system uh, in, in, this, in these days. And we prepare the um, various uh, electrode uh, having a different loading level from the thin electrode to the electrode. Of course, the performance, overall per performance of the um, aluminum-based uh, cathode uh, decreased as we increase the loading level, but the um, performance of the synthetic fiber-based cathode is still higher uh, when we cut this uh, electrode as thick as possible. Also, if we increase the um, uh, the discharge rate uh, to the uh, 30 C, sorry, 30 C. Uh, the difference between the um, synthetic fiber current collector and the aluminum based cathode is getting large. And if we include the weight of the current collector, the difference is very significantly high. So, uh, to sum up, uh, we are synthesizing the CNT fiber in our laboratory and we are using the um, wearable devices and energy devices and lyric composite, even if I didn't say about this uh, lyric composite today, and in my shooting film. This is our colleague and collaborator and we thanks to the, um, pro uh, this project. Thank you.